And it's that time again, guys. Mothberg must diminish. Mothberg must diminish. Guys, we have our Tupperware. We are blasting our way through this Tupperware. And here's what we got, guys. I've got something pretty special for y'all. This right here, it looks like a brown moth, and it is. But this right here, guys, is a brand new species of Geometrid, and I cannot wait to mount it and actually get an identification on it. And plus, a few Pyactes specimens from the Florida Keys, which are always a pot potential very cool thing. We have to get identifications on them as well. Uh, guys, let's mount this beautiful little Geometrid moth. All right, guys, we have here, let's get in this envelope. And I'm going to be really, really careful, guys, because this geometric moth is probably a new species. I do not want to mess it up at all. Okay, here we are. So, um, let me see if I can show you a little preview sneak peek of what this guy looks like inside. Um, it's kind of like a rustish, rusty colored orange. Now, I don't want to break it, guys, because this is a very, very valuable specimen right here. So I'm just going to put it over here, and we are going to mount that guy in a little bit when he rehydrates, but we're going to close this guy up, and we will mount these moths together here shortly. So here we go, guys. I'm going to mount this guy now. It should be, wings should be nice and pliable by now, I would imagine. Let's see. It feels like it. Okay. I'm going to try and baby this thing a little bit, guys, because this is such a rare moth. Got to make sure I keep all the legs. This is actually a male. Got the big feather antennae. Male Sphacelodes genus. I'm pretty sure it's Sphacelodes. But we do not know what species for sure. And we're almost there, guys. Looking good. Okay. Boom. Booyah. Look at that beauty. Okay. Now, I'm just going to... I'm just going to brace the abdomen underneath two pins. Make like a V. Brace the abdomen so it doesn't droop down. All right. All right, we have our undescribed, or this could be Hatieria, Sphacelodes Hatieria. I'm, I'm not sure. Let me actually, let me get this pin out of the wing here. And, but this, you know, there's a few little chips out of the wings, but guys, this is definitely a new species for our project. And I'm looking forward to seeing what it is and seeing if I can get some of the, the smart bug guys to tell me what species of moth this is. So I'm just going to cover the wings now. And what I'll do is today is the 21st. So I'll just put uh, 1121. So I know what date I mounted this bad boy, and we are ready to go. To <laughs> new moth to the collection, but a new moth to our Keys Mods project, guys. And I'm, I'm so excited to add new species to our list all the time. And, you know, to be collecting somewhere for 20 years and never see a specimen or a species. And then 20 years later, you find them. That is a lot of fun. So 
Our mystery Spasilodia, maybe Hateria. Any ideas, guys? Comment down below if you have any idea what this could be. I looked it up on our moth photographers group, on Bug Guide, and I, I gotta be honest, I'm not convinced that I see anything that is completely resembling it. So, could it be a new species? Who knows? But we're gonna get a label on this guy and see what happens. All right, we have our new Geometrid here mounted, labeled, and awaiting um, some other Lepidopters to take a look at it. Guys, hope you liked the video. Give us a thumbs up if you like this video, and let me know what you think about my identification on this little mystery moth here. Uh, we got plenty more action to go. Lots of stuff to curate. Look at all this stuff, guys. A lot of the stuff needs a lot of curation. And if you want to do that and jump into that with me, check out some of my other videos. Until next time, guys, take care. Let's get out there and find some new species. Bye now.